Welcome to the Cunningham Piano Show, where we explore life between the keys. I'm your host, Hugh Sung, and in this episode, I have a wonderful young pianist. His name is Henry Wu. Henry, welcome to the show. Thank you. Did I say your last name correctly? Yes. Good. I'm, I've been taking Mandarin lessons. I believe your last name has the third tone. Is that correct? Yes. Awesome. So, Henry, how old are you? Almost 13. And how long have you been playing the piano? Around eight years. Wow. So you've been playing, really, for most of your life. I understand you're studying with a wonderful teacher at a fantastic school, the Nellie Berman School of Music. Tell me what it's like to study at that wonderful community music school. Uh, at the Nellie Berman School of Music, it's very professional, mm. and it gives many opportunities for concerts, mm. and I really enjoy my teacher. You like performing, too, right? Yes. And who was your teacher there at the Nellie Berman School? Anna Kitsatsino. Oh, wonderful. And we're actually going to have a chance to meet your teacher right after your performance. So. Henry, tell me a little bit about what you're going to play for us today. I'm going to demonstrate the cadenza parts of Greek Concerto Number One. Okay, now I, it's interesting. Before we were starting the show, we were talking a little bit about some of your favorite things outside of music. What's your favorite thing when you're not playing the piano? Star Wars. Star Wars. I love Star Wars too. So tell me, how does that cadenza from the Greek Concerto how would it compare to a scene from Star Wars? Oh, by the way, which Star Wars movie do you like the best? The New Hope. Ah, you like the original version too, yeah. right? Awesome. So tell me, what scene from Star Wars would this portion of the Greek concerto be like? The opening and the end. Oh, cool. How so? Describe what's happening in your musical portion. In the beginning, it's very mysterious and once and leaves you wondering what will happen next. And at the end, uh, there's a, a really big battle. Awesome. Great. Well. Henry, oh, by the way, before we get to your performance, one of the unique things about this show is the fact that we invite our guests to choose from a range of pianos. And Henry, you've chosen to play your Greek cadenza, concerto cadenza on this Yamaha CF4. It's a wonderful hand-built piano. Tell us a little bit why you chose this particular piano. I chose this piano because it's very warm and not as bright. Mm, wonderful. So you like a nice, warm, rich yeah. sound. This piano does that very nicely. Huh? Well, Henry, may the force be with you. I'm looking forward to your performance. Thank you.
Henry, I sense the force was very strong with you in that performance. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you. And Anna, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting. Absolutely. So uh, we heard a little bit about your perspective on the Nellie Berman School. Tell us a little bit about what makes the Nellie Berman School so unique in terms of the training that it offers for their students. Uh, the Nelly Berman School was established in 1983 by um, Nelly Berman, who came to the United States from Odessa. She studied in Stalyarsky School of Music, which is very similar to Curtis Institute. And she started her studio from very few students, and now school has about 300 students. Oh, wow, that's incredible. And the school is professionally oriented. Students have several hours uh, lessons per week, and many of them study several instruments. And uh, they have also theory and history, music history class. And now the professional tradition is continued by uh, daughter of Nelly Berman School, um, the daughter of Nelly Berman, Yelena Berman, who mm. is a wonderful teacher, and she's the director of the school. It's amazing how comprehensive the training is. It is really a, a full professional level, high level training for classical music for these, for these students. That's amazing. Um, I, I'm wondering if you could tell us, maybe we can all speak a little bit. Um, I studied with a very tough Russian teacher, so I know what it's like. That Russian sense of discipline, hard work, and excellence. You know, there's tremendous benefits, but you know, I think a lot of parents perhaps are a little nervous about pushing their kids too hard. They want their kids to have fun, to enjoy themselves, and yet there's a certain level of enjoyment that can only come with really hard work and really strong discipline. Henry, do you like practicing? Very much. <laughs> You're a lot different than I. I hated practicing. But nevertheless, I'm really glad that I went through the tough regiment that I did because I was able to enjoy it later. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe you could speak to that. I'm sure you run into a lot of kids that in the beginning have a hard time, you know, working as hard as they do. And yet, tell us a little bit about how you were able to help them see the benefits of that. From my own experience, I learned that many students don't want to practice when they are young. But they... Even with a role, I don't want to practice. <laughs> I, I still don't like practicing. <laughs> so they start loving it when they turn 12 or 13. Uh, and uh, I believe that uh, if they're professionally oriented in the beginning, when they practice uh, a lot, and when uh, parents and teachers push them harder to practice and get professional skills, uh, then they have more opportunities to develop professional career in case if they want to they do also so. They grow in yes. confidence because they yes. see that they're really playing at a very, very high level, right? Right, and it also benefits other disciplines such as mathematics mm. and uh, can help them to focus and learn how to prepare themselves for certain events and like concerts. Really, it's a, it's a wonderful life lesson, not just for becoming a professional musician, but for being a more focused, disciplined, hardworking, creative human being overall, yes? Anna, I, I wanted to just kind of close off a little bit because I understand that you're quite the doctor's doctor. You have well, not just one, but you're getting your second doctor degree. Oh my goodness, you're such a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So why do you need two doctor degrees? Um, the system in the United States and in Russia are quite different. Uh, and uh, I decided to have this experience uh, learning uh, in the American University after I already graduated from the Russian Conservatory. And I really appreciate what I learned here and what skills which I developed and mm. repertoire I learned here and uh, the research I did as well. Oh, you're studying with a genius teacher. You know that, right, Henry? Yes. <laughs> Again, it's so wonderful to see both of you and the, the close relationship you have. I know that you care very much for Henry and Henry Obviously, you are blossoming beautifully under Anna's tutelage and in the Nellie Berman School environment. Sounds like a wonderful, wonderful, uh, wonderful mixture of learning, education, and performance. Thank you both for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And thank you for spending time with us. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new episodes. For The Cunningham Piano Show, I'm Hugh Sung. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.